Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, uh, we will see an important interview question that is uh, generally being asked uh, about uh, the prime number. So uh, generally the interviewer asks, uh, can you give a syntax or can you write a program uh, to write a prime number? So let's see, uh, first of all, what is a prime number? So a number that is divisible only by itself and one. That is a prime number so uh, I can say it in this way as well that a prime number is a number which has only two factors that is the number itself and one so these are some of the examples uh, so suppose two so two uh, we can get one into two or two into one similarly three three we can get as one into three or three into one but when we look at four so uh, we can obtain 4 by 1 into 4 or 4 into 1 or 2 into 2 as well so here 4 is not a prime number but 2 and 3 are the prime numbers okay so uh, let's uh, try to write a program for the same so uh, this is my uh, source folder i have created a package in that java basics okay i'll do a right click and i'll create a class so I'll give a name to the class as prime number okay and uh, I'll select the default option uh, like public static void main so that it will get uh, created automatically and uh, I will just click on finish okay so uh, this is the class template we have uh, the package name is java basics and uh, the class name is prime number okay so uh, let's uh, start by uh, defining a number so suppose i want to check that uh, 33 is a prime number or not so for that i will take an integer okay so uh, in this program you will see if 33 is a, a prime number or not so we all know that 33 is not a prime number so we should get the output as expected that 33 is not a prime number uh, okay uh, another important thing about uh, uh, prime numbers is uh, when we uh, want to find a number as a prime so we'll be making use of loops in java so there are different kind of loops like for loop uh, while loop and do while loop so for uh, today's uh, program we will use a for loop and uh, let's start so for i is equal to 2 i less than by 2 i plus plus okay so uh, you can see a red mark here that is because i have not uh, defined the variable i so let's define it as integer here okay okay now what we have to check is uh, uh, this is a loop uh, which will traverse through uh, 2 and it will go till uh, the half of the number the number that I have taken is 33 so here you can put as uh, less than or equal to as well okay so here we have to check that if in this range any of the number divides 33 so if that is the case that means apart from 1 and the number itself we have another factor and in that case 33 will not be a prime number so for that uh, we will write an if statement if number modular sign the i equals to equals to 0 okay so now what so for that uh, we will take a boolean variable so initially we will define a boolean variable as we'll take as uh, true okay now if the number is divisible by uh, that particular i value that means it has uh, uh, a factor uh, apart from one and the number itself so uh, let us set uh, the value for uh, variable 
is equals to false. So that means uh, if the value of variable is set to false, that means we have found a factor uh, apart from one and the number itself. So it is it is not a prime number, okay? And uh, we will put a break statement here so that uh, the loop ends and uh, the particular message is getting printed. Fine. Okay. Now after this, uh, just close the for loop. Okay, so uh, this part is done. Now we will uh, see what is the value of variable. So depending on the value of the var uh, variable that is where, uh, we will print a message whether it is a prime number or it is not a prime number. Okay. So if where is true, so that means it is a prime number. Uh, we will put out a message is a prime number otherwise if where is not equal to true that means it is false so that particular number is not a prime number not a prime number okay so let's save our program and uh, we have given uh, the number as 32 32 is not a prime number so we should get the same message after running the program so let's run the program so see 32 is not a prime number because it has factors apart from one and the number itself uh, let's try with another number 11 so it is a prime number so let's run our program and 11 is a prime number let us try with some uh, other number for example um, 46 46 is not a prime number so your program should return that 46 is not a prime number okay so that means our program is working fine so just to add one more step if uh, you want to check the value of variable as well so after this for loop, you can give uh, sysout Okay, so just for your understanding purpose. So like what is the value of uh, a var? So as per the value of var, this particular message will get printed, right? So I'll give here 47. Let's see what it comes okay so 47 is a prime number yes it is a prime number and the value of var is true so whenever the value is false we should get the message as not a prime number but in this case the value of var is true and hence we have uh, got the output as 47 is a prime number okay so uh, this is a simple uh, uh, program how uh, to write the code for uh, generating a prime number uh, in the next uh, 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 video we will uh, try to generate uh, the prime numbers within a particular range so we will see how uh, when a range is given as an input how we can generate the prime numbers in that particular range okay so if you have any doubts uh, just uh, drop out a comment and i'll be uh, able to solve it out uh, till then keep learning thank you bye bye